François Lozach. What is the most talented painter you know? Political correct answer required. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's up to you. Uh, yes, it's me. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not him. No. Uh, well, I think it's it's a little bit like the other question. Uh, one day is it's hard to say like who's your favorite painter. There are really a lot of amazing painters out there. With all very different styles. Very as well. different styles, very different tricks. For me, uh, I think still a yellow one is mm. is one of the the big names for me. Yeah. Because the the way he understands light is just it's just so beautiful, and the the way he he can show it on a miniature, it's it's really kind of, of like art. If you've never seen a uh, miniature from Yellow One, check out the Monte San Savino uh, photo yeah. album on our, on our blog, and look at his two busts of the soldiers. Crazy it's insane. Stuff. You look at them, and you if if it wasn't like a plinth underneath, you would say it's a person. <laughs> it's just insane. Yeah. yeah, really good guy. And a good guy, yeah, yeah. fun. Okay, so, um, okay, this is the question you just gave me. This is from the Tin Man. This is regarding the hidden Easter egg from video 6 to 8. I'm just going to throw this question out. How many threads of thought did the supercomputer Watson's avatar have when it went on Jeopardy? 42. This refers to the 42 questions you went over with the answer on that. And the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy's ultimate answer. Big stretch, but I have nothing else. Yeah, it's a pretty big stretch. You really, you don't have anything else. <laughs> that is not the answer. It is much easier and it's much more difficult too. Yeah. <laughs> but it is 42. That's true. Rick Denny asks, who is your favorite character from the Games Workshop background and why? That's easy. What? Which one is, the, is your favorite character? Like, your favorite character from Games Workshop? Um... I don't know. For me, it's the snotlings. I love snotlings. Snotlings are so stupid. They see orcs attacking. They're like, hey, attack! And they see orcs fleeing. Hey, flee! Which <laughs> is awesome. So, yeah, I like snotlings. Yeah. I will count this as a character of uh, uh, unit strength 3. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd! <clears throat> yeah, I don't have a favorite one. I'm not such a big fan of the Games Workshop universe, actually. All right. Are you thinking about organizing your own painting Buddha event or contest? We can't tell all the secrets, can we? No, no. we can't. No, no. So we'll, we'll deny any involvement in any kind of event whatsoever for this year. Even the ghost of the future. Yes. In this year. He wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, your turn. The ghost of the future didn't bring his glasses. <laughs> How many color bottles do you have? How many of them do you really use, Michael Hansen? <laughs> well, the second one is easy. For me, at least. <laughs> he has all of them and he uses none of them. <laughs> that's yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. I would say about uh, 200 mm. and I use about 20. That's a good ratio, actually. Okay, uh, let me just uh, look at one of your pages here. I don't have no colors. <clears throat> You can have this one. Uh, you have gray and some of the yellow stuff, right? <laughs> what? Kokonori. <laughs> Price is cracking me up. Your, le your letters still are on track to spell something, something, something. I'm not going to say it now. Uh, and the picture will spell out payday because you gave the company to us. Uh, no, but no. it does spell out payday. Yes. Um, how can you not love a company like that, especially with a cute Mati couch pad? I completely agree with you. How can't you? <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> I don't even have a couch. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That guy doesn't own a couch. No. Matty. Can you do guys do the cup song from Kokonor? No, we can't. What is the cup song? Nobody knows. And that's why we can't do it. What? Exactly. <laughs> That is our answer. That is our final answer. Yeah. Exactly. What? You want answers? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No answer. What? No answer? <laughs> okay. This one goes, uh, goes to Matt. Uh, what kind of sports do you guys do or used to do? Thank you, Matt, for that question. Yes. Especially for the t edition of the used to do. <laughs> 
What? <laughs> no answer, Matt? Okay. Who starts? Um, I don't know. I start? You yeah. start? You go. Do. You go. Well, I used to do Kung Fu and uh, I used to play Airsoft and I used to do other martial arts and I used to run around and... <laughs> run around and climb trees, <laughs> climb trees and everything. Yeah, how was your fences? Um, I think the last thing uh, kind of organized sport was in uh, back at university uh, some taekwondo, um, but uh, since then just miniature painting. That's not a sport. <laughs> <laughs> I did uh, something very very unnerdy. I played golf, um, handicap eighteen. And uh, I, what you won't believe, probably seven years ago, I was still running for marathons. So um, then my knees gave up and uh, I didn't stop the eating. Yes, <laughs> and, and his beard is quite heavy as well. Yes, so. it's kind of pulling me forward. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not very really it's not starts, ergonomic when the wind goes. It starts the ergonomic flow <laughs> of, of, of the swing and stuff. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine that. You can have this one, Michael, here. Uh, the big oh, that's a long one. Yeah, I don't uh, read it all. Kimet 3105. Which are, Volomis? Which are Volomis' favorite dish and drink? Hmm. Whatever we cook for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And whatever he can get to drink. <laughs> um, you probably have to ask him yourself. Uh, yeah. I, I would not know his favorite dish and drink. Uh, I think it's definitely not horse. Not horse. Not horse. It's alright. It's one of his famous <laughs> German sandals is Ab heute kein Pferd mehr. Ab heute kein Pferd mehr. From this day on, no more horse. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. Lukas Wiggering. Is Matti really that small or is this just a camera trick? Lucas, you are so amazingly funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lucas knows Marty, so uh, and Lucas is really a giant among men. So yeah, he's yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> like this, how, this how much taller. taller than me, and yeah, he's like a <laughs> giant among hamsters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Marty actually had to be funny guy amongst clowns. Yeah. <laughs> Was it, was it, what did it's we like say earlier? It's the sad one. So. You had to leave your country because people were laughing at you because you were so tall. Nobody said not to know. Is okay. Marty really smaller than Ben and Michael? Yes, I am. And it's no. Uh, There's actually very few people that are smaller than me, at least <laughs> in kind of horizontal <laughs> dimension. <laughs> Well, yes, I am smaller than those two guys, but it's not really hard to be smaller than those two guys it's because not. they're <laughs> pretty big guys. Let's just That's say it like this. Sad it's. and true. Uh, what about creating a painting school? Real courses to learn how to paint minis, or real courses to learn how to, main, uh, to paint minis? Um, well, I, I think we kind of started this already, and I think workshops are also a great way of learning how to paint. Um, we do have plans for bigger things, but honestly, this is so much money out in the yeah. future I have to say yeah, yeah. Um, because you need buildings and stuff uh, but it's it's something that's at least a contingency plan if we just should get uh, a lot of orders in so order <laughs> order order <No>. please <laughs> please I forgot <laughs> what about creating oh no oops <laughs> why did you change the answer romat style from Andre R well Easy, because the first one was the answer mod of the past, then we had the answer mod of the present, and now we have the answer mod of the future. The future. future. Old school from the future. <laughs> Old school from the future, which is kind of like now. <laughs> it's pretty present. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the final three questions. Um, first one is from Tom Tomasz Czanislawski. Uh, you were talking about your own set of tools, some nice sets of brushes, maybe? And the answer is um, <coughs> no. No, no yes. brushes from no. us. Um, no, makes yes. no sense making brushes. There's so many good brushes out there. And I think, uh, as we, my beard would only be good for dry, dry brushing and also very limited, I'd say. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll just, oh, just like one really big yeah. one as well, <laughs> like tabletop. Yeah. <laughs> dry brushing. So no, not not that. But uh, I wouldn't rule out maybe some some branding uh, of a brush. Um, we actually have talked about this before, but yeah, but, but, but brushes are like really a very precise tool, and uh, you really need awesome brushes. So yeah. uh, to to ensure a good quality brushes is really a hard thing, I think. Yeah, there's there's companies with hundreds of years of experience in making brushes, and it makes no sense trying to to reinvent that, reinvent the wheel. Also, sables don't smell that good. 
<laughs> All right. Then second last from Kimet thirty one o five. Today's question is for Marty, the cutest sculptor in the world. <laughs> it says. Um, and the question is, can you show us your sculpting tool? Here is a picture of it. <laughs> and will you record a sculpting DVD? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yeah, definitely next year. Um, probably not in the first half. I think that yeah, yeah. we can see yeah, for, for the late yeah. 2014. Yeah. Then the last question was, and we don't even have this here, I think this was from Michael Hansen. Yeah. Uh, we discussed this quite a bit uh, internally. Um, <laughs> the marketing. Over, over days, actually. Yeah, yeah, over yeah. days. And, uh, it's, the, it's a serious uh, and important discussion. Yeah, it was a very important discussion. Yeah. The question was, should we or will we have a painting Buddha muscle shirt? And we had a marketing department evaluate the options there. And uh, we had to have a model and hired uh, yeah, them to make some pictures. Studies, yeah. So this is what uh, we got. No. So no. absolutely <laughs> <laughs> no. There won't be any. <laughs> no kind of way. <laughs> All right. So just just rip off your your sleeves on your shirt, or if, <laughs> yeah. if it doesn't work, just buy another one or two. That that's actually a good idea. Yeah. That is a very good idea. Maybe some really tight ones too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I know that uh, yes, uh, the last and this uh, day's uh, questions were pretty long. Uh, we had so many questions, um, we just needed to answer all of them before we uh, went on holidays ourselves. Um, I think for the time being, that's all. Yeah, and we had a lot all. of fun with your questions. Yes, was, we did actually. Yeah. It, was a, it was a good time. And for the, us. not only the recording, but reading them and just uh, making up some fun stories yeah. that we couldn't re record <laughs> <laughs> just for uh, uh, professionalism <laughs> reasons or so. <laughs> No, but thank you very much. Uh, we continue this in 2014. Uh, there's two more videos to come. Make sure you share and enjoy all of our um, little uh, quizzes and the daily giveaways. And yeah. make sure you assemble the puzzle. Unlock the secret key phrase. And, secret that's it. Key and win the big prize. And uh, win the big prize. prize. <laughs> all right. Better cry. 42. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you did well, of course. So, <laughs>